Welcome back to the spotlight. I want to thank Angelo once more for being on the show. Again, we had a really good time. Check out that website. But right now, Becca is going to give us the word. What do you say, Becca? Hey. Thanks, Nick. Hi, guys. I'm Becca, and here's the word. So even though it was a few months ago, the news of a French fisherman catching a giant 30-pound koi uh, carp um, is buzzing all over the internet right now. The fish is, being, is very bright orange and looks like a giant goldfish. It may look fake, but according to a director at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, it is indeed possible to have a koi this, this large, if it's in the right environment at least. The largest koi on record weighed almost 90 pounds, though, and was also caught in France. Don't worry, the fisherman did return the large goldfish to the water after taking a picture with it, of course. Now, remember how awesome Pac-Man was back in the day? This is a little nerdy, but there's a video project of a human version of the game that is pretty amazing. A French boy, Swiss, a French Swiss artist of boy, not so no noisy creative boy, agen boy, agency boy, has created boy, a series what, 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 of stop what, what, motion what, movies that revive some of the very what, first what, video what, games, what, what, like Pac-Man, Tetris, Pong, and others. In the movies, the pixels are replaced by a group of people that are moving from seat to seat in a theater from four to six hours. Each person or pixel has its own rules and decides what they're going to do for each picture. And for the Pac-Man video, 111 people were used. If you want to see the other video games, which you definitely should, head to no notsonoisy.com slash game over to watch them. Well, we're heading into the fall, and the craft se fair season is coming to a close. This being said, make sure you get to the DIY street fair. Angela McBride's going to be there, too. It's September 17th and 19th. This, weekend, this is a weekend-long event in Ferndale where local artists, crafters, musicians, restaurants, and brewers get together for one big celebration. There's tons of unique crafts and, a really, and really good food and music, so get down there and help support all of the local vendors. Go to DIYStreetFair.com for all the event info. Another big event in the area coming up is Detroit Fashion Week from September 19th to 25th. It started in the summer of 2005, and there will be showcases all over the metro Detroit area. So if you want to see more local designers like Angela, check out Detroit Fashion Week's website, DetroitFashionWeek.com, for all the info. In celebration of 125 years, the DIA is heading to the streets. One of the exhibitions for their celebration is Inside Out, which consists of outdoor installations of reproductions from their permanent collection. There are 40 copies placed around the metro Detroit area, they are placed in places like parks and downtowns, so for, and so far the reactions have been pretty good. The exhibit will be showing until the end of November. So take a walk in downtown Royal Oak or head to the park and hopefully find some interesting art. Now if you're looking for some laughs this month, you should head to Andiamos here in Warren and watch Carlos Mencia stand up. He'll be here on September 24th and the tickets start at $25. So go to andiamoshow.com for more info. That's the word for now, back to you, Nick. Thank you, Becca. You did a great job <laughs> as usual. Oh, now it's uh, it's been a little while since we've had this segment on our show. Um, it's basically it's called going surfing. Uh, we basically go on the internet, we surf the webs. You kind of get that double entendre: surfing the web, going surfing. Yeah, cool stuff. Anyways, we found this cute little guy. Um, let's just say he likes his crackers. Uh, let's check it out. Going surfing. All right, I told you he liked his crackers. Oh, yeah. That guy's awesome. He's got tons and tons of videos on his channel. Check him out. I'm not going to give him any more publicity than that, but <laughs> let's just say some of his videos have over 3 million views. So basically, that's why the U.S. is the best country in the world, because <laughs> if you have a webcam and you're, well, let's say if you have a webcam, you can pretty much do whatever you want, get on the internet and be famous. Um, Speaking of becoming famous, we've had a great musical performance uh, lined up for you. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce to you, doing their song, Slow Curve, The Mugs. Thank you. 
That was the Mugs playing Slow Curve. Off the, actually, the, that song's off their album, On With The Show. That one was huge. It won um, all kinds of, that album has won a, an award for the Detroit Music um, Awards. Uh, Danny, the lead singer and uh, vocalist, won best, what was it, best, uh, what's it called? Um, Sorry, Danny, I'm completely <laughs> tearing this up right now. But he won an award for Best Musician uh, for the Electric Guitar for that album. And they won uh, Best Unsigned um, Album on a different chart somewhere. Either um, way, they're awesome. Exactly. <laughs> In my hearts and her hearts, they're awesome. Either way. Sorry, I tore that up. Um, but actually, they're hitting the road. Um, they're going to be in Ohio and Kentucky in the next few months here, but they will be back if you want to see them live at Smalls and Hamtramck on November 20th. And uh, any more information you want on them, check out their website at themugs2gs.com. They are the self-proclaimed ugliest band in the world. <laughs> check them out. They got a forum, uh, album sales. They sell merchandise, T-shirts, hoodies. Uh, they have a sweet belt buckle, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to cool. go back and get me one of those. You should. And uh, their other album, it's a self-titled uh, The Mugs, is also on that website. Um, so, Becca, back in the word, uh, what do you think about that fish? you ever caught a fish so that size? I don't know if I've ever caught a fish in my life, but that is huge. All I know is you need is a huge fishbowl to put that little fish in. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then Pac-Man always, obviously, one of the greatest games ever. I've had oh, the yeah. highest score <laughs> on my uncle's uh, in his basement for a pretty long time now. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of that. Of course, you know, any of those arcade well, personally, games. Personally, I was a fan of Tetris, so Tetris. they're all good, though. Worst game <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll just do that. Well, make sure you visit us uh, on our website, uh, on Facebook at facebook.com slash tvwarren.thespotlight. Feel free to email us at uh, thespotlight at live.com. We got to go. The, the music's playing, so I'm being, yep, time to go. I'm being shunned off here. <laughs> I'm Nick Kendall. This is Becca Friedman. Till next time, it's Lights Out, guys. Take care.